How's it going people? Brandon Yavis from Vora Motors here, bringing you a guide to maintain your ride. In today's video, we're going down to the lab where one of our technicians, Christian, is gonna show us how to replace the motor in your Touring. You can buy this part off of voramotors.com and when it comes in the mail, you can watch this video and you can replace your motor yourself. Let's head downstairs and let's make it happen. Start your repair at the front of the Touring, right behind the front wheel. Four screws hold on the black cover, so remove those screws completely. Slide that cover out of the way. Pull out the black wires, the controller, and the colorful wires as well. And disconnect the battery by pulling apart the only yellow wire connectors. They just slide apart. Find these three green to white connectors and disconnect them. There will be one with yellow wires, one with blue wires, and one with green wires. At the back of the Touring, remove the rear wheel by loosening the wheel nuts. Remember, there is one wheel nut on each side. Loosen this brake adjuster by turning it counterclockwise and remove it from the brake cable. Push the brake cable through the hole in this little round piece and then remove that part from the brake assembly. Now we are going to remove the rear fender. Four screws hold it on, so remove those completely. Pull the wheel nuts off all the way, and Christian uses the handle of his wrench to get the washers out of both sides. Make sure you are supporting the wheel with your other hand. Remove this screw, and once it's out, your motor will be free from the scooter. Underneath the scooter, follow the motor cable up into the scooter. Gently pull on it to free it from the adhesive material. Then pull the rest of the motor cable all the way through. When it comes time to pull the connectors through, pull them out one at a time. Now let's get ready to install the new unit. Using a flathead screwdriver or a razor blade, remove some of the black adhesive material. Run a length of metal wire through the hole and out the front of the Turing. Christian is using some brake cable, but you can use something similar as long as it is rigid and thin. Tape the new motor cables to the wire. We recommend taping the connectors end to end. This makes it easier to pull them through the Touring. Push the connectors through the hole at the back of the scooter, then pull on the wire to pull the motor cable all the way through the scooter. With the motor cable all the way through, you can remove the tape from the connectors, remove the metal wire completely, and plug in the connectors. Blue wire to blue wire, yellow wire to yellow wire, and green wire to green wire. Now let's install the new motor. Slide it into place with the brake mechanism on the right side of the Touring. Line up the holes and reinstall that screw that we removed earlier. Tighten it down with an Allen wrench or a screwdriver. Now install the washers. There's one on both sides of the axle and make sure the locating pin lands in the slot on the wheel bracket. Tighten down your wheel nuts, again, one on each side. Use a wrench to tighten them down fully. Install that round part into your brake assembly and slide the spring back onto the brake cable. Slide the end of the brake cable through the round piece and mount the brake cable housing on the brake assembly hook. Screw on the adjuster until it bottoms out on the brake assembly. Voro has a video that will show you how to adjust these brakes, we've linked it below. Now let's reinstall the rear fender. Four screws hold it on. Use a screwdriver to tighten them down. At the front of the Touring, plug back in the yellow connectors to energize the scooter. Then stuff the mess of wires and the controller back into the body of the scooter, making sure not to break any connectors or pinch any wires. Slide the cover back down, tighten those four screws, and you're all done. And that's all it takes to replace the motor in your Touring. Hey, if you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up down below and leave us a comment. We love responding to comments and we love responding to questions. Hit us with any burning questions you got. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Bora Motors. We release weekly videos that show you how to maintain and repair your scooters. Until next time, this has been Brandon Yavis and I approve this message. Take care.